Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I need to first apologize. I didn't realize how loud our stream is right now. So if you can hear some background noise, that's what's going on. Um, and obviously there's probably other sounds. I do have a mic on and I was hoping that you wouldn't catch some of those background sounds, but sometimes that doesn't work out. So I'm apologizing ahead of time if you hear that kind of white noise in the background. Maybe if you know it's a stream, it might not be as annoying. So today we are back out on the balcony patio, not really sure what to call this. It's kind of like a back porch that we spend a lot of time on and we wanted to give it a little bit of an upgrade. We totally redid this space back in 2020, but over the last year we've been making some more improvements in our home and just giving it some more like cottage vibes and so we wanted to carry that out onto this patio as well. So that's what we're going to be doing today. It started out as me just wanting to like add a few plants, maybe paint one of the walls a different color. And in typical fashion, we let it get a little out of hand. So we did end up doing quite a few changes. The first thing that we did here was clear off all the space. We had a lot of our storage containers here for Christmas. We were not able to get to our shed. So for months and months, our storage containers sat here. So we had to get those moved out and just clear the space off. And then the next thing that we did was Thomas removed all of the metal railings. So a few years ago when we redid this space for the first time, I wanted to do different railings. I love the look of wooden railings and it just wasn't in the budget back then. So this year we decided we wanted to remove the metal railings and finally do the wooden railings. So I wanted them to look like they had some character, like they had been here forever. So I wanted Thomas to find pieces that looked a little bit worn out. So that was something I requested. I wanted it to look like it had character. He only used two by fours to build the entire railing. So he did the base, the hand railing and then the balusters all with two by fours but for the balusters he just ripped them in half to give them like this square look. The number one thing we wanted to do here was do something on this wall. So we had like a dark bluish green color on this wall and we originally had a plant that ran up there but it died really, really quickly. So it's just kind of been a blank wall and we didn't love the look of it anymore. So we wanted to do something different here and I suggested let's build another fireplace. We always joke that if we ever sold our house, the listing would say 27 fireplaces. We literally have a fireplace like in every single room. So why not add one more? Now we obviously couldn't do a real fireplace here. We just did a faux one. He basically did it exactly the way that we did the basement one in our last makeover video. Just using two by fours to frame it out, some plywood, and then covered it with mortar.
The last thing that we did here that I think really transformed the space was I wanted to add some arches. And I just drew it on paper of what I wanted it to look like. Thomas went to Lowe's and got one sheet of lattice. And then, I don't know what he did, but he just measured it out, cut it out, <laughs> and then stuck them up here. And I just love the look of it. I feel like it really made the space just feel, I don't know, it feels a lot more cozy now than it did before. And I think it cost around $50 total with all of the materials. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and I will have everything listed or linked below in the description. For the potted plants, I decided to get some faux stems just because I'm a plant killer and I'm horrible at remembering to water. So these stems were all from Michaels. Last week, they were the only ones that had all of their stems 50% off. So I'm always going between Hobby Lobby and Michaels when I'm looking for stems just based off of who has theirs on sale. But the pots were from Hobby Lobby and those were also 50% off. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head. This lavender tree is real, so I will be eventually moving this out to our garden area. And my idea here is to put a really tall faux tree that climbs the whole length of this fireplace. So I'm excited to start working on that. These chairs were 50% off again from Lowe's. These are the same ones that I got for my dining room last year. So when I saw that they were on sale again, I had to grab them. I thought that they would look perfect out here. So I will be sure to have them linked below. Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down All right, well that's everything for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys got some inspiration to upgrade your patio or porch or whatever seating area you have outside. If you haven't already hit that red subscribe button, make sure you do that and we will see you in the next video. The sky is falling down.